Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm taking you guys on a little adventure. Thursday morning, I got up real early and hit the road to head down to Menominee Falls. I was meeting up with Jen Dunn from Rustic Rehabs at her local Goodwill so we could get our thrift on. I made it to my first destination. I am at Goodwill right now. I am just waiting for Jen from Rustic Rehabs. Uh, as soon as she gets here, we are gonna head on in. I was getting a little nervous. I might be at the wrong Goodwill, but thank goodness she showed up. I know. Okay, I'm videotaping you. <laughs> are you? Yeah, I, I am right now. You. So are you a morning person? To find out that answer, if I'm a morning person, you guys are going to have to watch our collab video. So Jen and I met at her local Goodwill and we headed on in. Uh, we were both looking for items for ourselves, but we had decided we are going to collab. And initially we were going to each just pick out one item for each other and we were going to flip it on an upcoming video. Well, as we started thrifting, things definitely definitely changed and what we decided is we picked out some similar items and we're going to flip them for an upcoming video. So I will be putting out that video very soon after I get back from my retreat. So the first aisle that I gravitated towards was the basket aisle, guys. I am always on the hunt for a good basket. And the very first one I picked out, oh my gosh, it was a Longenberger basket. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research. The ones that I typically find actually are signed and I don't think I saw a signature. Now, look at this. Uh, I looked at it and I put it back. Uh, but you will be seeing that make an appearance in an upcoming video. I initially grabbed this basket too. It ended up in my cart. At the end, I decided I didn't need it. Now, I saw this and I thought maybe it was another Longenberger basket, but it wasn't. I, none of the other baskets really caught my eye at this point, but this did. That was so cool and I definitely grabbed that. Now the sign, Jen said, oh my gosh, I almost put that in my cart last week. This week it was half price, so I ended up getting it for a great deal. And look at these guys, tell me, why are the bottoms cut off? I thought they were really cool looking, but I didn't understand why there was not a bottom and I, I was like inspired, but I left them. I'm kind of kicking myself. Goodwill had really good prices here and lots to choose from. So I can honestly say Jen's very lucky to have such a great Goodwill in her area. And uh, I did see this and I couldn't pass it up. It was super cute. I thought I could put a transfer on it, leave it as is. It ended up in my cart. And now I looked at, oh my gosh, I didn't even see that piece of pottery next to this but I did grab this and now looking at this video, there was that little piece of pottery to the left. I totally bypassed it. There was a lot to look at. This was fun too, but the bottom was wonky and it was crooked, so I left it. And I saw some different candlesticks. I just, I passed on them guys. And then Mikasa, that always catches my eye, it was some crystal, and crystal is not selling the best, so I left that as well. As I moseyed on down the aisle, right away, this caught my eye. It was super heavy and I loved it. I thought I could clean it up, sell as is, or put maybe decoupage paper in it. Then I had it down all the glass and I wanted to see what some of these prices were. These blue and white dishes remind me of my grandma and they were too expensive. 
I also look for different pieces of pottery, um, like coffee mugs. None of them were anything that I wanted to put in my booth. I love looking at glassware uh, for different sets of like vintage glasses to put in my booths. And I saw some green ones on the very bottom, but they were only um, a set of two or a set of three. And I really prefer a set of four. Uh, so there were things that caught my eye and I passed on them and some of it I'm kind of kicking myself. Uh, here are those green glasses. I thought they were so cool and I had some in my booth a while ago and they sold right away. I love that vintage green and I sat there and I thought about it for a while um, but then I finally decided I'm not going to just sell them in sets of two. You guys know how much I love my pictures and this one caught my eye especially since summer's coming I grabbed it what a great price for that it was uh, the perfect size too I thought I love the size and shape I always try to find real unique pieces and I'm looking for writing on the bottom. I always want to look to see if any of it's marked uh, and I'm on the hunt you guys for ironstone. So I'm always looking at different white dishes just to see because that's how I got my ironstone last time. I stumbled upon it just by looking at the bottom and I would never have guessed it. Now this caught my eye. I thought it was super cute, not a bad price but I did not buy it. And these guys, oh my gosh, they are so cute. They are, were 99 cents each and I bought six of them. I think they are so vintage looking and I just love those little roses. I saw this decanter and I love decanters, but this was originally $7.99 and they wanted $5.99, so I did not grab that one. And I just kept looking. I'm looking really for some unique pieces. I also want to find a good price for the pieces. I thought this was kind of fun. I think it was actually like an old butter dish, but I loved the design on it and it was not a bad price. So that ended up in my cart. After I lifted that up, look what I spied. Yes, a rolling pin. I can never pass up a good rolling pin. So that went right next to that little dish. And then I turned and guess what else? I saw another rolling pin. And these were pretty great prices, uh, $2.99 and $1.99. I cannot pass that up. I definitely have a bit of a rolling pin problem. I saw these pottery dishes and I figured they were false graph. I was trying to see. I did check out all of them and they were, I just, it's the pattern. I'm not really digging that light pink and light blue pattern. If it would have been off white or just a different pattern, I probably would have grabbed those, but I passed up on them. I spied these jars and I thought they were really cool. There were only two though. I looked and looked. I was hoping to find either one or two more to make it a set and I could not find any on the shelves so I passed on those. But this dish caught my eye. I thought it was vintagey looking but there was no markings on the bottom. It felt really light too. Then I spied these pink plates. I was so excited until I realized they were plastic and I had to pass those up. 
I headed down the Christmas aisle and you guys, are these not the coolest? A bunch of brass candlesticks that were in the shape of a horn. All of those ended up in my cart. They were only 99 cents each. What a steal. Then I headed on over to the pottery section and I'm always looking for McCoy pots. I grabbed this and it was nothing. I really didn't find anything down this aisle. Uh, I looked and looked. I was hoping just there would be a diamond in the rough. more of that pottery that has the pink and blue and i thought this was kind of cool looking uh this bean type of pot and i just was like i still couldn't get past that pink and blue so i left it jen and i divided and conquered we both went our separate ways in the store we had started down the aisle the first aisle together and then we divided and we met up at the very end and I could not believe what she got in her cart and she couldn't believe what I got in mine. But uh, when you're at a different location, I was I felt really out of sorts. I was trying to take it all in and I probably missed a lot of stuff. Plus I was on a time crunch. We could only spend an hour at the Goodwill and then we were gonna head on over to her store and then I was going to head over to the retreat Treat. Now you guys, look at this. I thought this was really kind of fun. Uh, it wasn't anything though. I was really hoping it would have said like USA or something fun on the bottom, but it didn't. Then I saw these and I thought, oh, this would go perfect with a whole spring garden theme. I was going back and forth and I passed them up. I'm like kicking myself now that I'm looking at it. And you guys, if you see anything on any of these shelves that you think that I passed up and I shouldn't have, let me know. I'll send Jen back and she can grab it for her store. Now, I know you guys have been missing my thrifting Thursdays, and I thought this might be my first Thursday back in thrifting Thursdays. What do you guys think? How many of you guys like it when I go thrifting on Thursdays? I had so much fun and I decided I think I'm gonna be just a little bit more picky with what I thrift. All right, this, I wish I would have grabbed it. I think it's, it was really cool. I could have did so many fun things with it. I'm sad about some of the stuff that I left behind. I really am. Uh, and the, some of the stuff that Jen got was so good too. Now this uh, caught my eye and that's why I came back down this aisle. I had missed it the first time around. What a great price old vintage barn board and I dropped it and it held up didn't fall apart so it definitely ended up in my cart oh, we're scary okay so what are my choices all right this one okay hey, Huey, I, right? oh yeah that wasn't us that was not us this <laughs> I'm not sure about that but okay okay this these would be pretty easy yeah I think so I, I could make those and you could put flowers in it I could and then this, if you don't do this, then I'll do this because my people love birds. I'm not sure what I'm gonna choose. I haven't even given you any. I mean, you're making me get hard. You're making me get hard things. So <laughs> I I will do this. I that. Yes, because this is more me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is me, and then she picked this out for me as well to do an upcycle with. I actually have an idea for this already. Do you? Yeah. See, I don't. What's your idea? Okay, so I think you should get the other one like this, and we'll do similar. We'll Is do... there another one? Or the, remember that bigger one? Oh, yeah. You How much was it, it, though? I'll go grab it. Well so after we worked out what each of us was going to flip for our upcoming collab video, we headed on over to the checkouts. And I can honestly say I think we both found some amazing deals. It's not going to end though yet. Uh, after we check out, uh, and by the way, the gals here are so accommodating and sweet. I could not believe how they were helping Jen, telling her 
what good stuff was on what aisles and they thought she would like this or like that and i just thought that was so awesome because we don't get that kind of treatment there in appleton but uh after we get done checking out we're gonna head on over to jen's shop and i'm gonna give you a peek at that as I headed out of the store, I was looking over all the goodies that I found and I cannot wait to show you in a thrift haul everything that I actually bought. I got lots of good stuff. I'm super excited and now we get to see Jen's shop. So let's hit the road again and head on over there. I, I saw that. I actually saw that. I'm oh, I love your sign. Thank you. So this is the new sign. This is the original sign. Okay, okay. All right, I'm going to get you opening up the door. Super cute. Looks like you guys got a lot of traffic. Oh, my God. Yeah, the traffic is actually quite I'm going to show you just a few more clips of Jen's shop and then the two of us sat down and we chatted about the October event that I'll be hosting. If you guys don't know already, Jen will be doing one of the workshops and I am so excited at what we finally decided that what she's going to do um, to showcase for her workshop. But if you haven't had a chance, definitely check out Jen at Rustic Rehabs in Menominee Falls. Her shop is so cute, you guys. She has so many great ideas. So definitely check her out and I'll link all of her information to in the description below. We are doing a collab together. So be watching for that in an upcoming video real soon.